Good morning, Hopkinton Middle School, and welcome to HMS Today. I'm your host, James Muzzy. Today, we'll show you your answers for the question of the day. Mr. Rockwood has a new Fun Fact Friday to share, and we'll show you a new picture for Have You Seen This? But first, let's find out what's going on around the school. Good morning, and welcome to Minute with the Principal. First and foremost today, I would like to express my thanks and appreciation to the cast and crew of Cinderella. What an outstanding production that I was able to witness from a seat in the auditorium to a tiny corner backstage. In case it wasn't obvious, this was my stage debut. Thank you to Miss Gifford and Miss Conant for their remarkable direction, extreme dedication, and perfect casting. Thank you to everyone who came out to support the cast and crew, and special thanks to Mary Lauren, Kaylin, and Tyler for looking out for me all weekend to ensure that I knew my place and my timing. You were all fantastic. Tonight is the last student council dance of the year, and it is for our grades six and seven students. Mrs. Ben Benick and Mrs. Abate will be cutting the rug, or in this case, carving the court throughout the night. Not to be outdone, for grade eight students, next Friday, May 20th, we will host the first ever Night in the Courtyard, an evening dedicated to live music, movies, and games. Looking forward to that very much. We're also very much looking forward to the middle school art show that begins on May 19th. Thanks to Ms. Brummett and Ms. Willinger, as well as Ms. Rowland, for their efforts in pulling this together. We can't wait to see all of your art on this very special evening. On an academic note, we return our attention to MCAS for the next two weeks with two days of math MCAS next week and science MCAS the following week for grade eight students. Lastly, thank you to all of you who thanked and showed appreciation for your teachers during Teacher Appreciation Week this week. Next week, we'll take an opportunity to thank our nurse, Mrs. Burke, on National School Nurse Day, which happens on Wednesday, May 11th. Thank you, Mrs. Burke, and thanks to all of you. Have a wonderful weekend. Thank you very much. And speaking of the things going on around the school, it's Teacher Appreciation Week. So for our question of the day, we asked you, what do you admire about your teachers? The thing that I admire about my teacher is because she buys us pretty markers and I love them. When we when see them in the halls. Mrs. Abate. <laughs> when Mr. Carney makes us laugh. Carney for life. Carney for life. Carney for life. For letting our teachers give us more time doing homework. Their kindness. That some of them are really funny. That they're nice and patient. Their ability to dab. Her dabbing. I appreciate that all my teachers are really funny and I also appreciate Mr. Cheney's uh, mad flow. I appreciate that all of my teachers are really kind to me and that they all have a sense of humor and I also appreciate uh, Miss Snydog. What I appreciate most about my teacher is that they help you and they teach you what you need to know for the rest of your lives and they care about your well-being. Yeah, I like how they care about you even though uh, they kind of treat you like their child even though you're just their student. Um, I like when they help you when you're facing problems and make sure that you always get to what you need. Uh, they always look out for you and they also teach us things we're going to use in life and they're also sometimes very hilarious. Um, they're always funny people, so yeah. The favorite thing about my teacher is that she's a teacher and she teaches me. My favorite thing about my teachers is that they always help me. Same. What I appreciate most about my teachers is the fact that they accept me and my weirdness and everything else after that. What I like most about my teachers is that they give us homework every single day. Those really are admirable. And now we have Mr. Rockwood with a new Fun Fact Friday. Good morning and welcome to another edition of Fun Fact Friday. Today we have some hair-raising facts. Shakespeare is referred to the immortal bard, which is a poet or songwriter. Shakespeare has created over 1,700 English common words that we use today. Wasn't that very generous of Shakespeare? Oh, speaking of generous, that's one of the words that he originated. Thank you. Read a good book and have a great weekend. Thank you, Mr. Rockwood. And last but not least, it's time for Have You Seen This? Last week's picture was of the bulletin board in the cafeteria, and no one got it. But don't worry, because here's a new picture for you. If you know where it is, send us an email at hmstv at hillers.org, and you could be our next winner. That's all for this week, middle school. 
for HMS Today. I'm James Muzzy. Now get out there and study hard.